Hey, how's it going folks? CT here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Adobe Premiere Elements 15, and I'm gonna show you how to add a logo at the bottom of your video that stays on it forever, or sometimes they call it a, a video bug, but really straightforward. It's basically picture in a picture with a small transparent image. So what we're gonna need is some video. I've already prepared my assets. I'll drag into video track one. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the audio so I don't hear it. Okay, next, I have two images here that have transparent backgrounds. One of them is my initials ET, and one of them is a U2 logo. So what I'll do is I'll do one at a time and just kind of show you how to do it. And that should be enough for you to understand the basic gist and learn how to do it. So what you're gonna do is drop one of these images into another video track, and it has to be above video track one. So let's go with the YouTube logo first. We'll go ahead and drop it into video track two. And you notice this thing's huge. But before we, we resize it, I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to the end of the video. I want it to be the duration of the video, the complete duration. And then after that, I'm gonna go over here and click, and you'll notice that you'll have the ability to resize it. So we're gonna resize it to a good enough size that actually brands the video, but doesn't get in the way of the actual content. So not too small, not too big. That's probably good enough. Okay, so that's one we have there. Let me go ahead and push play. And you'll notice that throughout the video, the branding is there on the video. Okay, of course that's YouTube's branding, but now let's do my branding or my initials, I can say. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and drag my initials down. So this would be something that I would do. I wouldn't put a YouTube branding there, I don't think. Uh, unless it was sponsored by YouTube. I'd like to put my own branding. Just in case people try to borrow it and put it on another channel, at least I'll have something that kinda sticks out saying, hey, hey, you didn't do this, this is mine. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is actually drag it again all the way to the end of the video. And I need to resize this one as well. So let's go ahead and resize it. And then we'll drag it and put it in this corner. That's a little bit too big though. So for me, it's just something to let people know that I'm ET, this is my video kind of thing. Yeah, you know, basic branding, identification type thing. If you have a company with a logo, you can do it that way. Let me go ahead and uh, mute this clip here. So we won't see it. And let's go ahead and play. So the video's playing and my logo's there, just as I like it. And it's actually a pretty good size. Again, if you wanna move it around, you just click on the video and go up here. And you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. You can put it in the top corner, bottom corner, it doesn't matter. Tad bit bigger. Okay. And let's go ahead and play it. Looks cool, doesn't necessarily distract from the video, it identifies it. But the norm is actually usually to go in the lower corner. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. The most important thing to do is make sure the background of the image is transparent so it looks cool on the screen and it doesn't have like a big white square or anything, unless that's your logo. All right, we'll see you in the next one. As always, peace and aloha.